Mr. Turner in? Yes, he is. Oh, no. Anything wrong? Just seeking help. Is that the way forward with Steph? How to give guidance to someone who is so utterly unrepentant? You mean to someone who might be utterly innocent? I'm sure when you're there, the right words will come. There's no easy way to tell you this. Okay, go, go on. We found a woman's body. It matches the description of Shelley Williams. Oh. Hey, what you been up to? Phone's been engaged all morning. Yeah, I've been drumming up business for the country's most highly rated, prestigious, and award-winning hotel. Oh yeah, where's that then? Here. In about a year's time. <laughs> been getting some hot tips from this. I've been offering all our major local businesses one of our cut price deals. What cut price deals? Well, like our special midweek executive break. Free bottle of wine included. Our unique stress busters weekend break. Free dinner included. You what? Our romantic escape for two break. Free dinner and bottle of champagne included. You'll bankrupt us. No, I won't. All tried and tested methods. I'll tell you, they'll spend ten times the amount we give away. Yeah, cos they're hotels. We're just a simple country B&B. And any road, you should have cleared it with me first before you offered anything to anybody. Sorry, never thought. <sighs> Don't worry, though. I'm a very experienced salesman, remember? Bookings. What? Bookings. Did you get any? Well, no, not yet. <laughs> Will do, though. As soon as that phone starts ringing, I'll tell you, it'll be like this. It won't stop. Come on, Jimmy. Tom needs this development plan by the end of the week, not the end of the month. Can't wait to get there, can you? Oh, for goodness sake, stop sulking. I can't believe you get this. Pat on the back for wrecking his marriage while I get a kick in backside for trying to stop you. Well, he likes to know the worst and to deal with it. He always has done. I did warn you. I think you can get him back on side. And in the meantime, if I go up a little and you go down, what difference does it make? What benefits me benefits you too in the end, doesn't it? Come on then, as we're both going in. Is there some news? They found a body. Oh, Alan. They want me to go to the mortuary to identify. I'm sorry, how difficult for you. Yes, but don't assume the worst. That's going to be even harder now, isn't it? A body doesn't prove anything. And if she's guilty, she'll need your guidance even more. What are you doing? Nothing. I thought you said you wanted to help. I do. Are you keeping out of trouble? Yep. You staying away from Kane? Well, he's not around, is he? What, so if he was around, you won't be keeping away from him? Oh, yeah. I mean, no. What? Just stay out of trouble, right? Are we all right to go through here? Can't stop you. It's right away. As long as you stick to the track. Thanks. It's very scenic round here. Does the farm belong to your dad? No. Mine. Is he your brother? Yeah. He doesn't look much like you. He's a good-looking one. Well, see you then. Come on, Tammy. Is that the name of your ass? No, my sister. <laughs> Come on. Walk on. Oh. Is he your brother? He doesn't look much like you. Hey, it's not bad, that. Yeah. Oh, you have to go through here, because I'm a posh knob on a horse. <laughs> not bad-looking, though, eh? No. One for each of us. It's gorgeous. Dead cute. Takes after a namesake. Oh, of course. And Bernice is flourishing. Getting on much better than she did first time round. And Brighton's lovely. She spends about a year's pocket money on the first day. Like little shop holic. <laughs> Tell you, Rob, I could take to this holiday lad. I feel like a new man. Say, Diane looks great. A bit cold. Yeah. <laughs> and the chemo set her back a bit, but the holiday afterwards has done her so much good, I can't tell you. You're back then? How's the baby? Flourishing, actually. <laughs> 
got some photos. Hand them over, then. Hey, Louise, do you think you could nip out for a bit, um, just for a minute? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. It's quieting down a bit. I can always get Diane to watch the bar. Why? I need your help. There she is. Oh, hey. <laughs> Miss Stokes? Where's Ashley? I was expecting Ashley. Ashley couldn't come. He has a christening today. Well, couldn't he put it off? No, he couldn't. So you were just going to have to put up with me. No, of course he couldn't. I brought your laundry. Look, I'm sorry. Don't worry. It's been checked. I didn't mean to sound ungrateful. Ethan, I'm glad you're here. It's just that Ashley's the only one who doesn't think I did it. He believes me. I wanted to tell him what they've just said on the television. They found a body. They're implying it's Shelley. The Moors, yeah. You know? Yeah. How? They've only just... The police called around. To tell my dad. Yeah. Well, someone has to identify the body, don't they? Oh, no. No, not my dad. Yes, your dad. He's just gone in this afternoon. <sighs> Is he all right? No, he's not really. He's as you would expect someone to be who's gone to identify the body of someone he loved. But he ain't. It ain't Shelley. It can't be. Because I didn't kill her. I'm a curate. I'm not a judge. My opinion is irrelevant. I swear you're wrong, Ethan. You know, so many people believe I killed her that I'm beginning to think I've killed her myself. I deserve what everyone thinks of me after how I've treated my dad. You as good as tortured him. I didn't plan it. I don't know how it happened. I love my dad. Though I hated Shelley at the end. I've always loved my dad. At the end? So you killed her? Look, if you're guilty, you should confess. You're just after saying you love your dad. If you don't confess, then you're just gonna keep on torturing I have nothing to confess to. Look. I'm sorry for what I did. You'll never know how sorry. Yes, I treated Shelley terribly. Yes, I dumped her in the middle of nowhere, but I didn't kill her. Okay, so tell me. What kind of terrible things did you do to her? I tied her to a chair. I gagged her. I pulled her hair. You pulled her hair? Yeah. Don't laugh. It's the truth. Listen, I know it's not right, but... But that's all I did. There we are. Thank you. You see, it says in that magazine that if you give a room a theme, you know, a particular ambiance all its oh, own... Oh, I was hoping to find you here. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you could come over and give me a hand. We've just had a really busy lunch hour and, um, well, to be honest, I need a break. I mean, Diane's over there now, but she's only just got back from Brighton. Yeah, sure, I'll come straight over. Say hello to Diane. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what, Bob? Um, these lighter shifts we agreed on, they're really not working. I mean, we're just so busy. It's like people don't know the holidays are over. I'm gonna have to put your hours up a bit more, Bob. I mean, I'm gonna have to put you back on to nearly full time. Even if it's just for a week or two. Ah, uh, I was really hoping to put the hours in here. You know, I get Enterprise Hope and Woods off the ground. Gee, sorry. What a pain. Uh, but it sounds like she needs you. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Sorry, Terry. It's all right. I'll just have to try and manage somehow. Yes, sorry, Terry. Yes! <laughs> oh, 
if it's her. What? The body on the moor. What if it is Shelley? It was lovely where I dropped her off. What if she's had an accident? You know, went to walk somewhere, got lost, got trapped. Met some weirdo. It would be my fault. And then, I would have killed her, wouldn't I? When they find me guilty, I... I would be guilty. Well, we'll know soon. <laughs> Says in this magazine here, that stress is the buzzword. Everybody's trying to offload the stress. Certainly true. So, so if you can sell your hotel as a place to unwind, relax, get away from your stress, then you're made. Mm. Yeah, that is the image that you are looking for. Yeah, I can see that. I'll go and serve that customer, shall I, Bob? No, no, I'll do it. I can do a bit of market research. Oh, wait. Market research? Yes, I'm asking people generally. What do you look for in a hotel? Right. How about what do they look for in a pub? Like a drink? Or maybe a barn that's got more than one track to his conversation? Hmm. Sorry about that, Bob. It's just offloading a little bit of stress. Well, I'll serve it myself, shall I? Come on, love. Let's get you inside in the warm. It's a smelly farmer, anyway. He's her dead. Plenty more fish in the sea. That's what we're going to do tonight, then, when we get home. Well, nothing, I suppose. Same as usual. Come here, sir. Who? You know who. Well, if I did it, one more. It's them posh girls. But I can make them fall off. Put it away, it does. Come on. Ooh. Let's go. Do you? Yeah, of course. Ethan, thanks for coming. And, uh, thanks for listening. That's OK. Will you, um, will you give my dad a message from me? I don't think he'll want to. I know. Will you try? Especially if this body's Shelley's. Tell him I didn't do it. That I'm sorry. That I don't know how we got to this. Stupidly. A bit jealous, crazy. But I've only ever wanted him to love me. Tell him I love him. I'll try. You know, it might be all right. This body might not be her. And they might find you innocent. I don't think so. So, oh, you mean you're quite happy to come to the pub with me and let me pay for your tea, then leave me on my own for the rest of the evening? You're my mum. I don't need to babysit. I could have gone clubbing with you, help you find a nice young man. I don't need a nice young man. I've got Marlon. Exactly. Marlon is a nice young man. Marlon's Marlon, and I like him. Well, it won't last. Dingle men do not know the meaning of the words love and fidelity. I mean, look at Kane. Look at Zach. Look at Shadrach. Zach's still with Lisa. Only just. Remember South America? You're not even with Bob. Well, that's different. I wouldn't blame even a dingle for leaving Bob. What is he? I had to send him down to the cellar. Terry, he's impossible. I can't possibly cope with him working extra shifts while he's like this. If you're talking about Bob, I'm not surprised you can't cope. Do having a private conversation? Um, actually, we're talking about someone else, a friend of ours. Oh, what? Another barman you sent down to the cellar? Honestly, I don't know why I didn't get shot of him years ago. It's no use. You're just going to have to have him back for some other time. Just tell him who's boss. What? Him, you mean? All right. Well, give it a go. Well, how was it? Any news? About the body? Oh, I still don't know. I just saw them arriving back, but I didn't like to go around straight away in case... 
So how was the hardened sinner? Softer. Well, you've changed your tune. No. John, I don't know what I think anymore. Whether she's innocent or not. I mean, she genuinely thinks that she is. That is for sure. Maybe... Maybe her mind has blanked it all out. She's not the only one who's softer. Oh, don't patronise me, Ashley. I'm not. We'll wait a bit, then we'll go round and see Alan. Find out if it was Shelley or not. The thing is, Bob, uh, well, the thing is... I need you back at the B&B. Uh, Louise has changed your hours to make that possible. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I knew you couldn't do without me. <laughs> Listen, I've been doing this really productive thinking about a possible room service menu. No, whoa, whoa, uh, Bob, stop. Go on. What? <sighs> I'm the manager of the B&B, and I want you to leave the running of it to me. And I don't want any of this fancy stuff. I want it kept simple, high quality. It's a B&B, not an hotel. And you can help me, but that's all. My ideas are rubbish, aren't they? No. No, I mean, it's not that. No, they're inappropriate sometimes. Head in the clouds, dreamer. It's what Viv called me. She's right. Viv's not right. Three failed marriages. Got my fourth one heading for a divorce. I've got no nowhere to live. I've got no money. Can't even make a success about a, a little job at the B and B. I'm a failure. It's what I am. No, you're not. Bob, you're good at lots of things. Yeah. yeah. You're a good dad. You're a good friend. Yeah. You're a good barman. Well, usually. And you're funny. <laughs> Well, not now, obviously. It's no use. I'm a failure. They may as well just chuck me on the scrap heap and leave me there. Well, what I'd really like to do is work with racehorses. Nothing but ambitious, my brothers. What, and you're not? Who, me? Uh, Jimmy, now. He's the one. He'd run for God if the job came up in a paper. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You are. Uh... What's up with you these days? You always got a long face on you. Me? Nothing. It's been a great week. It's only the nose, really. Out of joint. How do you mean? Our first sister-in-law's been made head of development. What, Sadie? Yeah, she started today. And don't pretend you're pleased. I'll skin off mine. She shouldn't be of yours. She's your wife, James. It doesn't mean I want her in the office, does it? Might become Dad's right-hand woman. That'd mean no room for a right-hand man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see what I mean? I'm surprised he's got the courage to face everyone so soon. Well, if everyone didn't stare at him, Mom, he wouldn't need any courage, would he? Hi, Dad. Sorry to hear about what happened, Tom. It's all right, thanks. It's already in the past. Ah, I'd like to buy a drink for my sons. Oh, cheers. And for Sadie, yeah. Oh, hold on. I think champagne is in order, don't you? Mm, lovely. Right away. Champagne. And then I'm going to make a little toast. You keep a diary? No. I was just checking in it. You know, my pity social life. Oh, come on, Debbie. What's the matter with you? Is it all this upset with your mum's wedding? No, but that's not exactly great, is it? It's handy, isn't it? Oh, Debs, I know exactly what you're feeling. I mean, I was exactly the same with, with Carl when we split up, but I never thought I'd get over him. It, what you have to do is you have to pick yourself up, paint some slap over them bruises, get out there and show them what you're made of. Come on. There's your slap. You and me are going into hot and dancing. <laughs> what do you get? I want to propose a toast to a new era of the King Empire. A new beginning, a new focus, a new strength. 
and to Max, who just joined us and who's going to make his mark. Maybe not in the business, but in the world of work. And to Sadie, who's going to be my new business development manager. Right, come through. He's very upset. We didn't want to intrude, Alan, but... It, it wasn't Shelley, after all. It, it wasn't her. It was some... someone... Alan, I'm so glad. But that means she's still out there somewhere. Now, don't go upsetting yourself all over again, love. When, when will they find her, Ashley? I, I need them to find her. I, I, I can't rest until they do. Maybe they won't find her, Mr Turner. There is a possibility that Shelley is still alive. Look, I went to see Steph today. She said that she didn't do it. She seemed so humble. Maybe she... How dare you! I don't want to hear what that evil person has to say. Steph killed Shelley. And she won't tell me where Shelley is so that I can bring her home and bury her. And I can't rest until I do. Now, just, just go away, please. 